Valentin. This is government issued ID, Walden University, acute care nurse practitioner, um, <coughs> head, ears, um, ears, eyes, nose, throat, and nails, skin, and um, hair assessment. This is Olga. She'll be my patient for this assessment. First, I go with the skin assessment, um, kind of overall uh, glance at her skin. I don't see any uh, rashes or lesions as far as I can see right now. Um, skin color seems to be evenly distributed. There is some uh, darker discoloration around her knees and around elbows. There is also some light tint around the sun exposed areas such as around uh, neck color and her arms. Uh, skin is smooth, warm and dry. The skin turner is great and the hygiene is good as well. The next is her hair assessment. Um, the skin, the hair is smooth and shiny and the evenly distributed. The next one is nails. Um, first is inspection. I'll look at her nails. They appear to be neat and clean. Nail beds are pink. Um, uh, uh, capillary feel less than two seconds. Uh, nail base is firm and um, edges are smooth and uh, rounded. I'll check for clubbing. I'll take a ruler. It is tan, so there is no nail clubbing exists. The next one is um, the scalp. First, I'll look at the scalp and I'll see that all the facial features are symmetrical. I'll palpate the scalp for any masses or tenderness or lumps. I don't see anything. The neck is in the midline and straight. Um, the next one is neck assessment. I'll look at the trachea. It appears to be, it's not deviated. I'll, I'll palpate for any uh, swelling or tenderness of the lymph nodes. There's nothing. No tenderness, subclavian area. There's nothing. I'll do um, also a thyroid palpation. I'll do a swallowing test, go ahead and swallow, and I'll uh, take a sip and I'll tell you when to swallow. All right, um, okay, go ahead and swallow. All right, it moved back in the midline, go ahead another one. And I'll tell you when to swallow. Right. All right, you go ahead and swallow. All right, neck in the midline. Uh, next is eyes. Um, first is inspection. I'll look at the eyes. They appear to be symmetrical and I'll do the snout test. All right, I'll cover your left eye and uh, tell me the smallest line that you can see. G, F, H, J. Okay, great. Cover another eye. G, F, H, A. Okay, both eyes are 20-25. Then I'll do... Um, I'll take my ophthalmoscope and look at her eyes. The right sclera is white and conjunctiva is pink. I don't see any um, hemorrhages or microaneurysms. I'll take my uh, light pen light and look for her pupil reaction. Both pupils are round and reactive to light and they appear to be around three millimeters each. I'll do the peripheral vision test. Okay, Olga, tell me yes or no if you can see this. Look at me. Two fingers. Okay. Two. Two. Okay. Two. All right, great. And next is ocular eye movement. Uh, look at me and follow my eyes, follow my finger with your eyes. So this is great. Um, next is hearing or ears assessment. Uh, first again inspection, I'll look, her, I'll look at her ears. It appears to be symmetrical. I do not see any visible discharge from the ears. I don't see that. I'll take the, my um, otoscope to look inside. So I pull up and back. There's no inflammation, redness, or any discharge, and tympanic membrane appears to be 
pearly gray and there's no perforation. Here again, up and back. There's no inflammation, any redness, any discharge, and tympanic membrane appears to be pearly gray as well. There's no perforation. Again, next is a, a whisper test. Olga, I'll whisper one of your ears and you tell me what I said. Soft ball, okay, great. Full ball. All right, the next is a cranial nerve aid, which will be a waiver and a ringer test. So I'll take my tuning fork and... Um, so this is a waiver test. Can you hear in both ears? Yes. All right. This is a Rena test. So this is A, and this will be B. Which is louder and longer, A or B? Okay. Again. This is A. This is B. Which is louder A. Okay, great. The next is a nose assessment. First, I'll inspect again. It appears to be in the midline. I don't see any deviation. I'll palpate her nose bridge and um, soft tissues around it. Any tenderness? No. And then the patency. Okay, breathe for me. Okay, again. All right. I it's uh, easy breathing, there is, I don't see any um, suspicious uh, noisy breathing. Then I take my otoscope and look inside for any polyps or any nasal deviation. There is nothing, there is some nasal clear discharge which can be a sign of some cold. Um, next I do sinuses, I palpate frontal and maxillary sinuses. Any tenderness here? How about here? I percuss any tenderness? No. Alright, how about here? No. Alright. The next is a mouth and throat assessment. Um, I'll look at her lips. They appear not to be cracked and they pink. Um, open your um, mouth, dear, and let me look. Okay, the mucous membrane is pink and I don't see any dental carriers. I don't see any loose or missing teeth. Um, ha, stick your tongue out, dear. This is cranial nerve seven, and there's no deviation. Tongue appears to be pink, and there is no coating or ulcerations. Um, open up again. I don't see any bleeding gums or inflammation of the gums. Um, I'll check for the heart palate, and it is dome shaped and it is whitish. Say ah. Okay, the soft plate appears uh, rise symmetrically and uvula is in the midline. Now check for the gag reflex. Okay, the re gag reflex does present. Um,